This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we preview the 2025 Renault Grand Colos SUV. Now bigger and better for the plenty of technology. Question is, will this be your next SUV? Finally, we review a Val's mid-size crossover, the Jolion. We check out its styling, performance, practicality, and evaluate its value for money proposition against its rivals, the Hyundai Tucson and the Toyota Corolla Cross. Catch this and much, much more on your cars with Big Boy Trev this Sunday at 5 p.m. only on NTV. Welcome to Kazi Big Boy Trev Extra. My name is Big Boy Trev. It's all about the news and reviews from across the world. Our first news item comes all the way from Mercedes Benz as they just unveiled the highly anticipated all electric version of its iconic G Wagon, officially named the G580 with EQ technology, promising and compromised driving experience. In terms of design, it stays true to the original design. And of course, it poses different changes, including a front slick gloss black panel feature with four horizontal vents flanking the prominent three pointed star. You step inside the cabin, and the first thing you notice is that Mercedes Benz have actually included the latest MBUX infotainment system featuring a 12.3 inch touch display that is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Additionally, the exterior and interior luxuries include temperature control cup holders, wireless charging, keyless entry, a Barmeister 3D surround sound, and of course, rear seat entertainment with leather upholstery. Mercedes-Benz powered the G580 with a 116 kWh battery pack providing an estimated range of 386 km. Equipped with the fast charging capabilities of up to 200 kW at level 3 DC chargers, it can charge from 10% to 80% in just 30 minutes. The electric G-Wagon is driven by four electric motors, two at the front and two at the rear, making Mercedes' first production vehicle with individual four-wheel drive capability. These motors deliver a total power output of 432 kilowatts and an impressive torque level of 1,165 Nm of torque, propelling this vehicle from 0 to 100 in just 4.4 seconds with a top speed of 180 kilometers an hour. Now, we do anticipate this vehicle to be locally launched, not in the near future, but we do hope that because of the electric revolution, Mercedes-Benz would actually bring this car to sub-Saharan Africa so that we can all enjoy the power and the dynamics of the electric G-Wagon. Now, Volkswagen has given its Touareg SUV a bit of a refresh for the new model. And while it is not a complete overhaul, there are some interesting updates that make it more compelling option in the crowded SUV segment. A few months ago, Kazi Big Boy Trev had a chance to sample the current Touareg and by far was one of our favorite SUVs, Banan. Here's what we know about this refreshed new model. The Touareg fresh look focuses on making the front end bolder and more prominent. The upper radiator grille now stretches wider, making the SUV look more commanding. The standard feature, the IQ headlight display. Now these aren't just for show, they come with three LED modules and three L-shaped LEDs for daytime running lights. Under the metal, the new Touareg is powered by a 3-liter V6 turbo diesel engine that produces 190 kilowatts. This engine is paired to an 8-speed automatic gearbox and Volkswagen's 4-motion permanent 4-wheel drive system. We do expect this particular vehicle to be on our shores by end of quarter 4, 2024 and cars with big boy trip will be at hand to review it as soon as it lands in Kenya. Toyota have just unveiled the 2025 4Runner SUV and my oh my doesn't it look stunning. For those not acquainted with the 4Runner, it was available in the grey market for years dubbed the Toyota 4Runner SSX based on the Hilux chassis. Now fast forward to 2024, the 6th generation of the 4Runner will ride on Toyota's TGNF platform which is also found on the LC300 and the Toyota Prado. Now as ever this will be a body on frame beast and should slot underneath the LC300 and the Prado. Now the 4Runner will share its power trains with the all new Tacoma pickup which by the way has a 2.4 litre turbocharged cylinder engine as base with a hybrid option. Now, in the base Tacoma, this engine produces 220 horsepower, while most models will get bumped to 278 horsepower. Now, the hybrid option setup, it's called the Hybrid iForce Max engine, will be bumped to 326 because of the combination of the engine and the electric motor. Now, unfortunately, Toyota will not bring 
this particular vehicle to Kenya is only restricted to the United States and left hand car markets and we surely hope that Toyota will rethink their decision and bring it to emerging markets like Kenya. So stay with Cars with Big Boy Trail for more details about the next generation of the 4Runner SUV. Welcome to Cars with Big Boy Trail social media feedback segment. We give you the opportunity to speak of what you've seen on the show and how we can improve CBBT. We jump straight onto our Facebook page and the first person is called Ian Brand, and he says, I love the show. Thank you for your informative reviews as always. Thank you so much, Ian. We do this for you. We gather and collect data and present it in the best way possible. Now, our next person is Humphrey Hamkagui, who's a top fan. He says, I am impressed by the Mercedes E-Class due to its nice interior, smart tech, and safety features. Well, thank you, uh, Humphrey. This is one of the best vehicles you've done so far. Very, very affordable, of course. Um, it's a Mercedes Benz and you can expect all those features. And finally, we have somebody by the name of Prince Ashata Mushiri and he says, a Mercedes Benz lover. I hereby declare the sedan as epic. Thank you so much, Prince, for watching and making sure that you tune into Kazu Big Boy Trev. So if you have any questions, comments or queries, don't hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. We'll get back to you with the feedback next week. Now, buckle up, guys. It's time for us to sample the brand new Great World P-Series luxury pickup enjoy now this is the key to suzuki's brand new suzuki baleno and prices starting at kenya shillings two million do you reckon it's an absolute value for money and as far as hatchbacks are concerned let's start this review by taking a look at the profile of this particular car so as you can see the design face of this particular car is very edgy it's modern it's catchy and it's targeted to the younger generation where the Baleno sits very comfortably. And as you can see, you do have a V motif design with the Suzuki logo on the slated grille and of course the quadratic headlamps, which makes this car have that visual appeal. Look at the lower bumper, as you can see again, Suzuki are trying to make this Baleno very sporty. As you can see, the front dam air splitters again reveals that this particular car has that athletic stance that many other hatchbacks have in the segment, including the Volkswagen. Polo. Now let's take a look at the side profile. Now this is where matters become very interesting. What Suzuki have done is basically create a design that is very unique to the Baleno. Now as you can see it has a sort of bulging fender and of course cut out with this particular 16 inch rims makes this car very very sexy and sporty. Moving along to the side as you can see let's creases on the body profile and as you can see this hip line is lower enough to ensure that there is enough light that gets into this particular car now as you can see the chrome tips on the lower seals and on the door handles creates this car a je ne sais quoi feeling making it look very very premium now as you move to the back and this silhouette where it is a hatchback and it's slanting it has that sporty feel you actually feel like you're driving a sporty hatch and that is the name of the game in this particular category at the back as you can see because of the coupe sort of styling the rear back is slanted slightly lowered to ensure that this particular car just revealed that it's a hatchback. With this chrome tip over here that is on the back panel of this Suzuki Baleno, again giving this car that je ne sais quoi, we keep on talking about, this adds a touch of fineness. Very rarely would you get a vehicle with this particular category with such styling. Again, as you can see, Suzuki logo and of course the Baleno indicating that this particular car has been redesigned for 2020. Now the bumper, as you can see, again massive. This hides a massive cavity that you're going to find out later on. This car actually is very practical. You can carry quite a number of things, including a 90 kg sack with ease. Well, that's just a tenth of the story. It's time to check out the cabin. How practical is this cabin? How comfortable is it? What features does it have? Join me as I do a review of the cabin courtesy of Cars with Big Boy Trev. So guys, you've seen from the walk around the subtle styling that Suzuki has employed on the Baleno and it's also found on other Suzuki models that we've tested on Kazu Big Boy Trev, including the Sears and of course the Etiga Swift and the Jimny. Now, matters are not different inside. So step inside and have a look at the Baleno. Now, this Baleno has been designed in such a way to create an illusion of space. Like I've mentioned earlier, Suzuki are known to create spaces where there are none. And in this car, 
matters are exactly the same in fact it is so spacious i am amazed at how big this car is now let's start with the dashboard as you can see now this one piece design has a forward cab design that allows you to have more space so the front passengers have enough leg room and of course they're able to feel free and of course the use of lighter materials just to create that airiness in the cabin is so important now top side of the dashboard of course you do have some swooping lines that meet in the middle and of course there is a center console which is the highlight of this whole dashboard and this center console actually houses a 10 inch multicolor display unit that has all the bells and whistles you can ever think of right below the multimedia interface system lies the climate control system that actually as you can see from the design they are converging in the middle and of course there's a circular uh, screen that is monochrome that allows you to see the different temperature variations that you're able to execute with this ac now right below the ac is a gearbox console that actually is very practical this being a hatchback means practicality is the name of the game so there's plenty of cubby holes and spaces that allows you to be flexible you can actually put two cup holders and you can put your cell phone right at the end and of course you can also charge it using a 12 volt socket that is standard you can charge your devices and of course usb and an auxiliary port that allows you to be flexible if you are a person with an ipod and you want to connect the system and listen to good music good tunes courtesy of this baleno now moving over to the instrument binnacle again suzuki have tried to ensure that the driver is able to see all the visual graphics with ease without taking their eyes off the road now the italics are clear and precise spaced out again to give that visual representation you have on the left hand side the tachometer on the right hand side you have the speedometer and in between you have a monochrome display that gives you uh, stuff like for example if the door is open range and of course gives you your driving style the driving style ergonomics of this particular car again you can also select the torque but you can actually see the amount of torque that is being applied to the front wheels and you know it's just a subtle difference that gives this car that genesis required now as you can see big boy is quite comfortable the seats are supportive lumbar support is amazing and i can tell you for a fact that anybody sitting in the baleno would feel very comfortable especially during long journeys and just to make matters better you can adjust the steering wheel based on your testing preferences so it is tilt and telescopic just to fit your preferences so if you're a big person like myself a small person you're able to adjust the seating comfort very easily to allow you to control the baleno at any given situation at any given time well that said it's time now to check out the multimedia information system then i'll move over to the back check out the practicality of the first row seating if there's enough leg and headroom go to the boot and see how much space it has and then you take it to the road courtesy of cars with big boy drive so guys we're taking a look at Suzuki Baleno's multimedia information system that comes as standard in this particular car. Now, as far as functionality is concerned, it is placed right up there with the rivals such as the Volkswagen Polo and many others that are coming across into the country. But today we start focusing on this functionality. So the first thing that I do love about this system is the fact that it is high definition. There is no other brand that actually has a high definition screen at this price point. So Suzuki are giving people value for money and it is no exception in the Baleno. So the first thing that I can tell you that this particular system actually has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functionality. And to test that, we're going to find out right now. I'm just going to plug in my phone, which is an Android phone, and see the functionality. So I've plugged it in already, and I'm going to ask it and command it to give me a few things. So for example, what is the temperature like today? Today in Nairobi, expect a high of 23 and a low of 16. So guys, what you've just seen is how Android Auto works on this particular system. What Google have done is to create seamless connectivity between yourself, your laptop, your computer, your tablet, and into the car, and you're able to connect and see. So it swipes along your whole ecosystem, and you're able to be very practical. It doesn't matter where you are. So for example, this particular car will give you information of where you are, it will navigate you, and of course, it will also read your messages, respond to them, and of course, make uh, calendar dates in case you're going for a meeting or in case you forget it will remind you that's the beauty of technology because now it is getting into our lives it is becoming more productive so this productivity is very good on android auto which is supported by android phones however if you have an apple iphone you can be able to connect using apple carplay again it will give you similar functionality or slightly better and depends on the software of this particular car it's very fast very easy to use and of course it allows you to drive the car safely without toggling through your phone 
or pressing the, the buttons over there. That is so important. Now, apart from that, you're able to connect and listen to your music or listen to your files via an SD card that's right on top of the screen. And of course, you have USB connectivity right here where you connect either your flash disk or connect your phone via the cable. Again, if you want to connect your phone via Bluetooth, there's that option as well. You're able to connect your phone so that you can pair it and listen to music or even pick calls or answer calls. That is so important in this day and age, being practical and the target audience has been well catered for in the Baleno. So practicality here is the name of the game. You can even play some of the audio files or visual files in high definition and you won't be stressed. So imagine having a road trip with this Baleno and there are four people or five people, you're able to enjoy the functionality of this particular system. Notwithstanding, it has a good six speaker audio system that churns out clear treble and bass notes. So if you're an audio file like myself, then you'll be able to enjoy Fali, Pupa, or any other African or Saudi soul via this system. Again, that's something that Suzuki have done to ensure that they give maximum value for money when you're buying the balloon. Moving over to the back seat, and I can tell you, big boy is quite comfortable. There's plenty of space in the back seat of the Baleno. Let's start with the seating comfort. As you can see, big boy is very comfortable. The seat in front of me is set to my height, which is six foot one, and I'm at the back, and I can tell you, legroom is still fantastic. However, because the coupe styling, the headroom is doggo small, but it's fine. If you're less than my height, then you'll be perfectly fine in the Baleno. As you can see, the seat actually has three headrests, but I think this particular car can sit uh, three average size adults or two big adults. And then in the middle, you can have some space here for something. Again, something I do like about this particular car is the safety aspect. They've thought about putting seat anchors on each seat. So you can actually put a child seat in this particular car, plug it in, and you're able to ensure that your child is safe while in the back seat of the Baleno. That is so important. Again, three point seat belts across the seat just to ensure that everybody who sits at the back is belted to ensure maximum safety of the Baleno. How flexible is the back seat? Now, the back seat splits 60 40 to ensure that you're able to accommodate uh, enormous cargo or irregular cargo like skis or poles or whatever. But if you need more space, then you can literally put the whole seat down and create more space where you can carry large stuff like a fridge or whatever it is you're carrying. It could be sacks of potatoes if you're going up country, it could be anything. That means that the particular space of the Baleno is so practical for anybody who's starting a young family. If you're solo and you need to carry a lot of stuff, then the Baleno is the car for you. But just to confirm that, you need to go to the boot and see how much space the Baleno has. So moving over to the boot, when you open, it reveals a large and deep cavity. This is something I've not seen on the current hatchbacks of today. Now, from visual representation, this looks like it can carry a full sack of 90 kg potatoes. But in its native form, you can actually carry two big suitcases. Or if you need more space, you can literally lie flat the back seat to create more rooms. You can carry stuff like a fridge, a cooker, or anything else that requires plenty of space. So guys, today we are something the brand new Suzuki Baleno Refresh for 2020. And I know you're wondering, what makes it so special? So I'm gonna give you the ingredients that makes this car what it is one of the best efficient yet fun cars to drive. Now, let's start with the engine now. Up front, you do have a Suzuki sourced engine, K14B. It is a specialized engine that has been enhanced to give you good fuel efficiency and good power response. So basically, it's a 16-valve four-cylinder petrol engine with multi-point fuel injection and of course, variable valve timing. Now, this allows this car to produce 68 kilowatts at 4,500 RPM and 130 meters of torque and that power is sent to the front wheels courtesy of a four-speed automatic where you're like okay four-speed automatic is a bit old school but listen that four-speed automatic has been tuned to ensure that you have maximum efficiency and of course the gearing allows this car to be very peppy at certain rpms and that is very important because when you're zipping through city traffic you need that mid mid-range torque that can only be given by a well spaced out gearbox so basically this four-speed automatic lands and mimics your driving style to ensure that you're able to achieve a good fuel economy figure of exactly 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers. And if you want to give it the bin like now, okay, now, 
The Suzuki Baleno is sold and serviced by CFR Motors Mobility with a starting price of Kenya shillings 3.44 million VAT inclusive. It also comes with a 3-year, 100,000 km warranty, whichever comes first. Plus, you can rely on CFR Motors Kenya extensive network to maintain your Suzuki Baleno. Now, you're wondering who are the key rivals in this segment? Well, just to think of it, there is the twin, the Toyota Select. I guess you have a wide array of choice to choose from. So, do you ever think that this particular vehicle is better than the rivals? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media notes below. We'll get back to you next week with the feedback. Well, setting up, this is Big Boy Trev. Drive safe and be safe.